Okay, now that we have our WAMP server up and running, you can see I go to the system tray, you can see I've got the green light here, and all the services are on and it's up and running. It's time to download Joomla and WordPress and get started working with installing Joomla and WordPress websites. Now, before we do that though, I want to cover one other thing about this web directory. So I'm going to go into WAMP server and I'm going to go to the www directory and you can see here I've got this directory. Now, in my home directory for my web server, right, notice I'm in the C drive, WAMP, www folder, you can see my file extensions. Now, what are file extensions? File extensions are usually a three character, um, three characters at the end of a file that help Windows, the Windows operating system, know what kind of file it's dealing with. So you can see here, this is index.php and this is test mysql.php. Now, on your system, you might not have your file extensions visible, and that puts you at a disadvantage if you're going to be a web developer. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. What you'll want to do is go to the Organize tab, and go to Folder and Search Options, then go to View, and then make sure you uncheck Hide Extensions for Known File Types. You see, if this is checkmarked and I click Apply, then I can't see the .php file extension. Now if this was a text file, I wouldn't be able to see the .txt file extension. Or if it was an image file, I wouldn't be able to see the .jpg, jpeg file extension, so on and so forth. It's really helpful to see those file extensions. So you're going to want to uncheck this and click Apply. And now you can see the file extensions. Now another thing that's going to be useful is we're going to be putting separate websites onto these um, folders here. And so we'll have site one, site two, and let's say we make a new folder here. And this will be site three, right? Well, right now, if we go to our home page and we go to, let's say, localhost, we see the WAMP server configuration page. But watch what happens if we take this index.php file and change it to index.php.back and it will the Windows operating system says hey do you really want to rename this file it might become unusable and that's what I'm trying to do I'm trying to make this file now unusable so I hit yes and now the file's unusable notice the icon changes so now as far as the folder is concerned there's no index file there's no home page so now, on the Apache web server, if we go to localhost, and I'm just going to refresh the window here, instead of seeing a home page, we see a directory listing, index of root. And this is the root for our web directory on the web server. And you can see here all the files that are there. Notice it doesn't recognize index.php.back as a home page. It would if it was just index.php or index.html, so on and so forth. But it doesn't recognize this file name. So there's site 1, site 2, and site 3 for our three websites, let's say, that we're going to develop. If you want to, you can click on testmysql.php, and it'll open up that file. And you can see that you have maybe a few warnings here in how um, MySQL is connecting here. This is testmysql.php, and I'll hit back. You could also click on index.php.back, and now you can access it. Or what we could do is also create a home page if we wanted to. So that's what we'll do right now. I'll show you how we could create our own home page. I'll go in here, I'll right click, and I'll say New Text Document. And I'm going to call this text document index for home page. But instead of .txt, I'll put HTML. All right, hit yes. And now I've got an index.html file. And I'll right click on it and open it with Notepad. And I'm gonna put in some basic editing into it that will make it an HTML web page. So HTML, right, there's your opening tag. Then you need a head tag then an ending head tag. Now in between the opening and ending head tags you can put a title tag 
and then your title. I'll say welcome. Right? And then an end title tag. Okay, so this is very rudimentary, even crude HTML here, but it just works for as an example. And then the body tag. Then I'll skip a few lines, the end body tag, the body of our web page. And then below the end body tag goes the end HTML tag. Now in between the opening body tag and the end body tag, you could put your message, hello world, let's say, as a test. And I'll get rid of this extra space here. I like that. And then get rid of that extra space. And there is your, let's say, home page. So I'll hit File Save. Now the page is updated in the web folder. And now if you were to refresh this localhost page, instead of getting an index, we get our Hello World page. And the tab here, notice the title goes into the tab. In Internet Explorer, you can see it says Welcome up here. Right? So that's pretty neat. Now, after that, I'm going to go in, and now I will take this file and make it also .bak so that we actually have no home page so that when we go to our site instead of being presented with a web page I want to see my choices for which website I'm going to access site 1, site 2, or site 3. Now what we need to do is download Joomla let's say version 2.5, Joomla 1.5, the older version, and WordPress and that's what we're going to do next.